Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, and I want to show you how to connect to GitHub from your local Git installation over SSH on Windows. If you want to SSH into GitHub from Windows, the first thing you're going to need is some SSH keys. And you always keep those keys under your, well, under your home directory. So I'm logged in as owner, so that would be userowners.ssh, and you can see boom, there's nothing in there. So if you don't have any SSH keys, well, the first thing you got to do is create them. And there's a simple little command that you can use in PowerShell, and it's just the SSH key gen command. You want to use the latest open SSH. So you add the dash O flag. You want to make sure that you're using an RSA valid encryption algorithm. So use the dash T tag. And you know, you can throw some metadata or comments in here. And I'll say email at mcnz.com. That's just a little metadata to add to those keys. And the key gets created. You notice that we end up getting this a little question here, where should we save the key? We just want it in that .ssh folder. So I'm just going to click enter. It's going to ask for a passphrase. I can never remember them. So I'm going to click enter here again. It asked me if I'm sure and I'm sure. So I click enter and boom, all of a sudden you see these two keys created over here. There's the public key. There is the private key. And look at this. We even get some beautiful random art representing our key. That's just makes you, you feel good about life right there. So our keys are created. What do we do next? Well, you make sure they are in that .ssh folder. If they're in any other folder, it's not going to work. So make sure they are there in that folder for the user that you're logged in with. Uh, the other thing that you need is you actually need to copy the value inside that public key. So you open that up in a tool like notepad. And let me see right here. And that's the key looking right there. Well, maybe do a word wrap on that. And there you go. That's the key. There's the metadata right there. You can see that right there. I'm going to copy all of that information. Then I'm going to mosey on over to GitHub. This is my GitHub account. I click over here for my account settings. And you can see Boom, once again, there's a link there for SSH and GPG keys. I want to add a new SSH key. And what is the key? Well, I just have to copy in that key that I opened up over here. So put a little title in there, Cameron's key, click add SSH key, and it's added. So now I've got the public key up here. I've got the private key over here. And if Git tries to connect to GitHub using one of those SSH based URLs, well, that private key and that public key are going to do a little handshake and make sure that everything works uh, and life will go swimmingly. So, well, how do you do that? Well, I'm going to clone this rock, paper, scissors repository here. Notice that beautiful green code button. If I click on that, well, it gives me an HTTPS link. It gives me a CLI link and Look at that. It gives me an SSH link as well to connect to this repository with SSH. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to click even harder just to make sure it's really copied. And oh, I'm in my C directory there. I don't want to be in my C directory. What directory do I want to be in? Now, oh, let me see. Do I have a temp directory? Okay, make dir temp and then CD temp. Okay, there we go. Now I'm in a temporary directory. You can be in whatever directory you want. I'm not going to judge you, but uh, I will judge you if you can't do a clone. So we want to do this git clone command, paste in that SSH URL for connecting to GitHub, click enter, and it works without a problem. See, it all clones right in locally. Actually, no, it doesn't. It says, hey, you know, um, the FBI is watching you. Do you want to give them your fingerprint? And I'll say yes. And it just it can't figure out if uh, the key is authentic or not. But I mean, I created the key. I pasted it up. I got confidence in it. So I'm going to say yes. Um, and so now it's going to go to that rock, paper, scissors repository. I could do a little ls command here. <laughs> well, ls worked. I love PowerShell with the Unix command tools in it. Um, although SSH is now part of 
Windows Server and Windows 10. Um, then maybe a dir command is a little bit better and you can see that rock, paper, scissors folder. I'm a rock star, so I'm gonna do CD rock star, move into that folder, do a little ls command and you can see files like a new file, a file, game file, my forked file, and look at that, boom. All of those files are also over there on GitHub, which tells me I have successfully cloned a GitHub repository over SSH with Git. And there you go. Life's good. Did that in less than five and a half minutes. That's how easy it is to use SSH with Git and GitHub on Windows. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. We've got other great tutorials over there on Git, DevOps, tools, programming, enterprise software, you name it. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about me, you can always follow my antics on Twitter at Cameron MCNZ and uh, subscribe uh, on the YouTube.